Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're going to be blasting Germany's Bethlehem Dark Metal. Thank you, Harmony Corain and the film Gummo for introducing me to these guys. This is some fucking killer black metal from Germany, aka Dark Metal. They did drop the black metal tag right before this album dropped, but as you can hear, this is black metal, but this is from the Germanic forefathers of DSBM. Killer stuff from fucking Germany right here, Bethlehem. Their album before this I feel is a lot better, but I fucking love this release as well. It's just fucking sick. And the vocal delivery is so goddamn good. I just, I, I love this album. And uh, speaking of albums I love, uh, I was lucky enough also to see these guys on Saturday. U.S. black metal legends, Demon Sea, Within the Sylvan Realms of Frost. Originally released in 1999, but recorded in 1995 and 1996. This is absolutely incredible. He played with uh, Crucifargum as his backing band and sounded absolutely amazing. No keyboard use and that's one thing I love about this release is that the keyboards are used kind of sparingly and when they are used it brings forth this like really really fucking like bleak cold sonic snowstorm of fucking black metal. It's awesome. And just the evil vibe this just gives off in general, it's fucking sick. Like, if, let's say, Westeros was a real place, I'm pretty sure this is what the Night King would be listening to when he fucking tore down the wall with the undead Viserion. But you have Knighthood of the Moonlit Realm, Abysmal Shores of the Dark Lands Beyond the Sun, in winter's ancient slumber, the final battle for our glorious satanic empire within the sylvan realms of frost and commencement of the black crusades. Dark crusades, sorry. But, wow. Just, this is back in a time where there weren't too many U.S. black metal acts. You had Judas Iscariot with heaven and flames kind of leading the pack. You had Black Witchery, and along others, Absu out of Texas, but Demon C just, I, I think, you know, were one of the bands that were just kind of on top of things, especially with a release as fucking kick-ass as this. Like, this is their second full length as well, and I feel it's just such a massive step up from their debut. Which is sick and all, but this just sounds, I think, so much better. The second wave Scandinavian black metal influence is just awesome on here. Mostly fucking from Finland with Bahirit. And when it comes to Norway, just Dark Throne, some early Immortal. It's just fucking great. It's so just sick sounding. Every song on here just somehow, like makes you feel something in some way, shape, or form. And that's sick when a band can do that. Like, I mean, like, Satan's awesome and everything, but, like, you don't fuck with uh, nature and shit, and winter is coming. <laughs> Not to, you know, be a total Song of Ice and Fire Game of Thrones nerd, but it is true, and... Between this and Black Solis Banished from Time, I'm pretty sure I have my Winter of 2018 soundtrack secured. But this is just so fucking good, though. I, I can't give it enough praise. Like, just musically, it's so unearthly sounding and just, ugh, man, this is so fucking good. If you're a fan of just, like, black metal in general, especially, you know, early U.S. black metal, you have no excuse not to check this out. It's fucking amazing. 
just a killer, killer slab of black metal in general. And like I said, when it comes to American black metal, Demon Seas, one of those bands that still are like kind of ahead of the pack when it comes to the dudes that are still around from the early days. And this is just one of those releases that I feel just got a lot better with age. Because you have all these bands that are trying to go for the sound that was already captured back in 1995 and 1996. And it's funny because a lot of the like black metal bands that a lot of people like and make popular, you know, they try to go for this type of sound. And a lot of the times don't really, you know, do the best job. They make the production a little bit too raw, and this is something where all the dead stars aligned and, you know, just created this kind of directly on the money representation of what, in my opinion, a cold ass Northwestern winter sounds like. Now, I, I know for a long time, there was an East Coast, I'm pretty sure he was living in, and when I say he, I'm going to butcher the name, but, uh, Elsifer? Uh, Elsfire? I fucking, Ixifera? <laughs> I don't know, whatever, but the mastermind and original member, this dude right here, Pretty sure it was originally from Atlanta, but then moved to the Pacific Northwest, but this really, really, just from the cover alone, just, if you've ever been in the woods during, like, a snowstorm or anything like that, it's, oh my god, I can't wait to fucking just throw this on during a snowstorm and maybe get an extra couple feet of snow which I kind of don't want but at the same time I do but this is so fucking good I can't give this enough praise from a sonic perspective it's just so good and nuclear war now always kill it with the reissues and demon C is no different red vinyl I wanted it on black, but it was actually sold out. I had to pick this up through Hell's Headbangers, as it was sold out everywhere else. But $17, can't fucking go wrong with that, seriously. And, uh, just an amazing reissue. Whoever remastered this in 2016 at, uh, Shadowsphere absolutely fucking killed it. This was originally recorded 1995-96 at Finlegan, and actually on vocals here you do not have Aixifra, you have Sinfraf on vocals, and he kills it, but live, oh my god, he had his vocals pitch shifted and just completely just sounded like an inhuman black metal monster, it was awesome. And had Crucifargum as a backing band. Just one of the best live black metal performances I ever saw. And I emailed them the footage of their performance. Like just the one track I recorded. And they said that it was the best show of the tour so far. And I was just like wow. Because I was just blown away. Because I was going to say like yo that was one of the best black metal shows I've ever been to. And like it seriously was. I was completely floored by their performance by the whole entire show in general it was just sick thanks Jess Watson for booking that and for helping me get in just sick stuff but Demon C within the Sylvan Realms of Frost wow I, I, I can't recommend this enough out there for all you black metal fiends and I'm sure you already know how good this is, but just in case you don't, wow. I mean, this is coming from a dude right here who thought his music was getting too commercial, so he just fired his entire band and destroyed the recordings. To me, that shows a lot of fucking 
character and just, you know, taking your art seriously is just something that I feel more musicians should do, you know? Don't cave in the trends and what your record label wants. Fuck that shit. Just, you know, if it works, go with it. Like, if it feels right here, then, you know, put it on record. Like, and that's what's done here. You could tell that these tracks come from, like, the heart. And that heart is cold as ice. And it's willing to sacrifice its grimness. Not really, whatsoever. This is actually one of the more cold, grim records I own. I mean, you don't just squeeze invisible oranges. It's grapefruit territory when you're squeezing shit. But in all seriousness, Demon Sea fucking rule. Within the Sylvan Realms of Frost, this is just evil as fuck. Such a killer sophomore release. The term sophomore slump does not exist in the realm of Demon Sea. And this six track Nuclear War Now reissue is great. I know that this also exists as a CD comp with the um, first album as well as some demo tracks. If I'm correct, I'm not 100% sure. But uh, yeah, if you can snag a copy of this, Demon Sea within the Sylvan Realms of Frost on Nuclear War Now, you cannot go wrong with this record. Especially, like I said, if you're a fan of US black metal from the early days of the scene and the second wave of Scandinavian black metal, especially Bahirit and fucking Dark Throne. Yeah, Demon Sea within the Sylvan Realms of Frost. This is some fucking grade A black metal. 9.5 out of 10. Only reason I'm not giving this a 10 out of 10 is there really is no reason. I just feel like I, I want to give it a 9.5 out of 10. It's so fucking good, and if you don't believe me, you need to check it out for yourself, and trust me on one thing, though. This sounds a lot different on vinyl than it does listening to it digitally. I found myself just completely immersed in this record on multiple spins uh, over the past 24 hours, and I've listened to this album for a while now. And just, wow, At every listen, I hear something new. And that's what I love about it. It has a very, very high replay value. These six tracks just fucking roll. And Demon C just, in my opinion, hit the nails right in, in Christ's fucking wrists properly with this ice cold fucking second full length within the Sylvan Realms of Frost. Just completely amazing. If you like your black metal, unearthly, cold, evil, and just fucking well written in the name of Satan, you need this in your life. So, check it out. Fucking Demon Sea. And we've been listening to Bethlehem Dark Metal. The forefathers of DSBM from Germany. Killer, killer stuff right here. Just listen to that. Yes. But, as always, thanks for watching. You guys fucking rule. Hells. Yes.